The baby girl who was found alive after being missing for a week is on her way home to her family. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Sydney has the night off. We're confirming tonight Child Protective Services is handling the baby Margo over to them and she is not in CPS custody anymore. This is earlier tonight. Candles were lit all to remember her mother, Heidi Broussard. The 33-year-old was kidnapped and killed last week. KXAN's Alex Capriello shares the heartfelt message of those at tonight's vigil. They're not alone in this, that people care. Austin has wrapped its arms around Heidi Broussard, Shane Carey, and baby Margo. Beyond comprehension to watch your son or some, you know, you know he didn't do a doggone thing, and you know how much he loved her, and you know, it's just unbelievable. Heartbroken, a crowd gathers at Garrison Park. Some of these people say they knew her personally. Mama. Many say they didn't. God just told me I needed to be here. People told me learning the way Heidi Broussard died was hard for them to comprehend. It's a story that many of us have been following closely. Just on its own, it's tragic, but some of the other elements that have come out about this story is just, it's just unbelievable, heartbreaking. These people pray comfort will come to the family during this holiday season. She was loved and she was cared about and people want to come out in support of the family. Appreciate your family, your friends, especially this time of the year, and just just love one another and just be there for each other. Tonight's vigil is said to be one of many planned for Heidi Broussard. The pastor speaking tonight said that there are already memorials being planned for January. In Austin, Alex Capriello, KXAN News. So where does the investigation into Heidi's death stand tonight? Right now, Heidi's longtime friend, Megan Fiermuska, is charged with two counts of kidnapping and one charge of tampering with evidence. Broussard's body was found in a car registered to Fiamuska outside a home in Northwest Harris County. That was all last week. On Friday, we told you a group of parents whose sons played baseball with Heidi's six-year-old son organized a fundraiser to help the family during the holiday season. Today, we have learned that they raised $2,200 for the family. They also received Christmas presents for the children, as well as diapers, wipes, and gift cards. If you'd like to donate, we have a link for you at kxan.com.